Hey there everyone. I have some urgent updates coming straight from Zimbabwe. Hold on to your seats because this is a roller coaster of political tensions and intense drama. First off, some good news. Samuel Gwenzi, Namatai Kwekweza, and Robson Chere have been granted bail by the High Court of Zimbabwe. These three brave souls were brutally removed from an airplane by state agents loyal to President Mnangagwa, just as they were headed to the SADC summit. Mnangagwa's desperation over his increasingly questioned legitimacy could not have been more glaring. Now, let's rewind a bit. The Citizens' Coalition for Change, or CCC, has been the target of intense scrutiny and harassment. State security agents have zeroed in on leaders like Gift Ostalos Siziba and Amos Chibaya. Their crime? Voicing support for detained activists and vowing to organize protests. Yep, you heard that right. They were standing up for democracy and paying the price. Siziba and Chibaya aren't backing down though. From the courtroom to the streets, they boldly challenged the government's actions and demanded the release of all political prisoners. Their words have struck a chord with many Zimbabweans who are fed up with the relentless crackdown on civil liberties. The CCC has even called on the international community to step in and put pressure on the Zimbabwean government. But the tension doesn't end there. Just recently, fears for the safety of Siziba and Chibaya have escalated. Reports suggest that they're being chased by suspected state security agents. The two leaders are now in hiding, fearing for their lives. Their homes were reportedly visited by unidentified individuals believed to be government agents. This has sparked outrage and condemnation from opposition supporters and human rights organizations alike. The international community is watching closely, expressing grave concerns over the shrinking democratic space in Zimbabwe. These incidents have further heightened political tensions in a nation already grappling with an economic crisis. And if you think that's all, think again. The Zimbabwe Congress of Trade Unions, or ZCTU, recently criticized Siziba for leaving the May Day celebrations prematurely. The ZCTU clarified that political parties were not given a platform to speak at the event, and Siziba's departure was seen as a breach of protocol. This incident underscores the delicate relationship between political parties and labor movements in the country. So, where does this leave us? Zimbabwe stands at a critical juncture. The struggle for democracy continues, as does the fight for human rights and civil liberties. But today, let's take a moment to thank the brave citizens standing up for what's right. Your courage and resilience are the beacons of hope in these turbulent times. Stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Together, we're stronger. The struggle continues. Thanks for watching. Voice over ends. Fade out.